Hi, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and just show you guys some more content with the Life Righteous Fire character. So we're up to 9.4k life currently. And I wanted to show you guys a little bit of a different map. Uh, so this is a map rolled with players cannot regenerate life, mana, or energy shield. Because I've showed you guys with the Low Life Righteous Fire character that you can indeed run a bunch of different map mods. But I don't believe I ever fully showcased it in a no regen map. So I want to go ahead and show you guys this character specifically for it. So we're currently running on 88 fire res. We could have 89 if we had a level uh, 23 purity of fire. We only have a 20 at the moment. But all of this regeneration that I have right now, so with all my flasks popped, we're at 2,000. We could get up to about 2,500 with some better gear. Uh, Labyrinth enchant, maybe some endurance charge regeneration over here. Uh, and potentially even some regeneration through Templar. But that doesn't really matter. So we're going to go ahead and test out this in a no regen map and see how it goes. Now this is a tier 12 no regen map, just again to confirm for you guys. Just a strand. Now the bulk of our healing, or pretty much almost all of our healing, with the exception of the overtime healing which doesn't work in this map, comes from our Warcry ability. Berserker has an Ascendancy, or Ascendancy node, that says every time they use a Warcry, they heal 25% of their maximum life and mana. Now this would work for things like Abyssal Cry, Rallying Cry, and Enduring Cry that, you know, we're basically using Rallying Cry and Enduring Cry. I don't really use Rallying Cry too much. But Berserker synergizes so well um, with this Ascendant, or with this, which is really funny because even though it's one of the squishier classes because of the increased damage taken, it has some of the easiest time running the harder map mods because of the heal that it actually gets. Okay. Might be better for me to refresh my flasks, but oh well. Should be alright like this. Whoop. Maybe not alright, I should have refreshed my flasks. We're just gonna go back really fast before we rip. Definitely take some precaution before you do the bosses, though, because <laughs> this is a map mod you shouldn't be running with Righteous Fire. Anyway, all I wanted to do is just showcase you guys, because... I uh, will showcase you guys, Kappa. But just to show you guys, because if you can run a no-regen map, you could very easily run a 40% reduced regen map, 60% reduced regen map, minus max, vulnerability. None of them really compare to a no-regeneration. Obviously, if you put them together, it would be very scary, such as vulnerability, minus max, Vulnerability reduce regeneration, but again just showing off the berserker He is able to do majority of these map mods which makes it a great league starter build because you're pretty much free to do whatever you want Obviously, it's gonna be scary and rippy, but you don't have to you know waste tons of currency on like Continuously rerolling maps, which is a huge plus um, My gear is pretty top-end I've got like two really good opal rings which add a ton of increased damage, but none of this actually affects the the actual regeneration of the build I mean, regeneration literally does not work in an over-generation map, so that's one thing to take note of. Anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, remember, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you liked the video, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys had a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.